Phoebe. You're a real superhero. <coughs> Being a real superhero would be fun. <coughs> Groovy, do you think we could play real superheroes? <coughs> Super Phoebe to the rescue! <laughs> and what's going to be the Super Phoebe's first mission? That's right! To help someone in need! Hmm, seems like somebody needs help. <laughs> Pops has a great idea. Let's go on an adventure. Guys? Oh, there you are. Well, don't worry, children. We'll get a new ice cream for you. There. Phoebe, you don't need powers to be a real superhero. Kids, let's make rainbow ice cream. We'll use fruits and veggies. Yeah! We love, we love, we love veggies. We love, we love, we love fruits. We love, we love, we love veggies. We love, we love. day for sports. Ha <laughs> Pops, you look great to play basketball. I just hope nobody confuses you with the ball.
<laughs> Groovy. I think they want you to play with them. He says you have to go there and play with the girls. <laughs> the basketball is for boys. <laughs> Pops, that's not very nice. Although that boy deserved it a little. Should we explain to everyone why what that child did is wrong? Although some sports have traditionally been considered to be for boys and others for girls, the truth is we can all play whatever sport we want, regardless of our gender. The only rule is to have fun. That's a good idea, Phoebe. Ask the girls if they'd like to play basketball too. Attention, boys. Girls also want to play basketball. Let's all play a game together. All right, let's see. We need a referee. Perfect. Pops will be our referee. Great. Oh, we're missing something to whistle the fouls. Groovy, could you help us? <laughs> Children, what should Groovy transform into to help Pops to referee the match? A mixer? A whistle? Or a crown? Yes, a whistle. All right. What a thrill. The match is about to begin. The team to make the first three baskets wins. Understood? for Phoebe, who passes it to Katie. Katie to Sarah. She makes a basket. All right, girls. Eric takes it out, passes the ball to James, James to Victor, and a basket for the kids. The game is on fire. There's a tie. The girls take out. Phoebe has the ball and throws it. What a basket. Spectacular. The boys take out. For Eric. Phoebe takes it off. Foul! Eric commits a foul! now has a chance to win the game. Come on, Phoebe, you can do it. Phoebe gets ready to shoot. Moments of maximum concentration. Shoot and... Mark! 
Spurs win the game. Bravo. See how much fun it is to play boys and girls together with any sport. Oh, you've scored so much, Groovy. <laughs> What a beautiful day to learn in school. And what are you learning today? Ah, the basic emotions. Pops, shall we go over them again? Joyful, when a big smile is drawn on our faces. <laughs> Sad, if we can't help crying. Fearful, when we open our eyes and mouth wide. Scared. <laughs> Angry, if we frown and pout. <laughs> Thanks, Pops. Children, did you learn them? Very, very well. Great, then. The task for tomorrow is to bring a picture of every emotion learned today. Joyful, sad, fearful, and angry. The garden is a good place to take pictures, don't you think, kids? Great choice, Phoebe. The photo will have a beautiful background. Hey, Groovy. You are finally going to fulfill your dream of being a model. Pose for us. <laughs> All right. Now pretend you're super happy. Hey, you don't look really happy. Let's try better with sadness. Come on, Groovy. 
<sighs> it's going to be more difficult than I thought. Pops has an idea to make the photos work. Provoke Groovy's emotions. But shh, it's better that Groovy doesn't know. What a scary pose, Groovy. Perfect picture. You already have one emotion, fear. Let's continue with the next one. Hmm. That broccoli looks great. How happy Groovy is. Oh no, it wasn't for you, Groovy. You're so sad. Great! Two emotions and one to go. Joy and sadness. We only have one left to complete the album. Oh no, the camera is broken! There is the missing emotion, anger. What a pity that we can't take a picture of Phoebe, but what about a drawing? Yes, you can draw anger in the album directly. What's the matter? Don't you have something to draw with? I see. Groovy, can you help us? Children, what should Groovy transform into to draw on the album? A pearl necklace? A marker? Or a rugby ball? Yes, into a marker. Great. It's fantastic, Phoebe. The album is full. Homework done. You can play now. Oh, an A+. Plus. That's really something to be cheerful about, kids. Let's see those smiles. Cheer up, Groovy. You'll end up doing it well. What a beautiful day to play with all these toys. Groovy, watch out! <laughs> what a crash! Oh, what's wrong with Phoebe? Could you tell me? How does Phoebe feel? Joyful? Fearful? Angry? Or sad? That's it. Phoebe is sad.
Nice try. Oh, Phoebe must be very sad not to laugh with you. Groovy, it's okay if Phoebe's sad. Emotions aren't bad. They help us to know what we are feeling. We need to find out why Phoebe's sad. What's the matter, Phoebe? Why are you sad? Oh no, Snuggles is gone. Now we understand why Phoebe feels so sad. Snuggles is her pet, and she loves him very much. Wait a minute, but Snuggles always leaves for a while. But you're worried because he hasn't come back yet. How long has he been gone? Don't worry, Phoebe. We're going to help you find him. Phoebe, have you looked around already? And the rest of the garden? Yes, the garden is very big and Snuggles is very small. We need help to find him quickly. Groovy, can you help us? Children, what should Groovy transform into to find Snuggles? A toy truck? A helicopter? Or a slipper? Exactly! Into a helicopter! Great! are. He's stuck in the fence. Oh, so much love. How beautiful. I love stories with a happy ending. Phoebe has gone from being sad to joyful thanks to our friendship. Yay! Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> <laughs> Snuggles is having a great time. <laughs> and Groovy too!
What a beautiful day to paint a picture. And what are you going to paint? Um, a ball, a bucket, and a shovel. A fire truck toy, and a dinosaur. And do you know what kind of dinosaur it is, children? But you do know what a dinosaur is, don't you? No? Pops, shall we explain it to them? Dinosaurs lived on the Earth long time ago, before humans and Martians, about 250 million years ago. There were different types, such as the Diplodocus, with a very long neck, the Velociraptor, which ran super fast, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, the most feared of all, or the Triceratops, with three striking horns, that one then, what kind is it, children? Indeed, a Triceratops. Pops, please don't tell me you're taking them to the Jurassic to paint real dinosaurs. Am I the only one who thinks this is a bad idea? I see, all right, to the Jurassic period then. Wow, how nice the Jurassic period is in this time of the year. A real Triceratops? <laughs> you already have a new friend and a model for your paintings. You can paint him. Oh, it must be the mother. We'd better be polite and ask her if she'd like to pose for us. Mrs. Triceratops, we're painting. Would you be kind enough to pose for us? Thank you very much. You'll be portrayed very well by our little artists. Earthquake! Typical living in the Jurassic period. Children, be careful. Poor thing, we have to take him back to his mother. But how? Groovy, can you help us? Children, what should Groovy transform into to save the baby dino? Into a racket? An inflatable ball? Or a helicopter? Yes, into a helicopter. Fantastic. We have to hurry. Another earthquake could come. Well done, Groovy to the rescue. Very good, you saved the baby dinosaur. Time to go home. What an adventure, kids. Did you get a chance to paint something? Wonderful, you're great painters. Besides, you've helped someone who needed it. I'm proud of you. Groovy, you're a painting. Children, we're losing control. Ah, oh, thank God. 
God, the spacecraft works like a submarine. Whoa, the seafloor is beautiful. Children, what was that? What is it? What is it? A mermaid! Come on, guys. We have to go and meet her. We can't go in. Phoebe wants to take a picture with the mermaids. Groovy, will you help us? Come on, Phoebe, get in. They want to meet you! Ready? Three, two, one, fishes! Wow!